English Mixed Martial Arts Association, joined by Tommy Mahoney. Thank you for joining me today. This is your first interview, I yeah, believe, well, as well. Thank you for having me on. Yeah. yeah, it's a pleasure. Obviously, you're here for a reason. You've been selected to compete in the Four Nations tournament over in Wales in July. How did that feel, getting that? That was amazing. That really sort of validated all the hard work I've been putting into the sport for, so, for a couple of years now, getting that email. I nearly missed it. I actually got a text at one point from Dana saying that, um, did you still want your place? And I had, I had no clue what she meant. I've checked my emails and I'm like, yeah, I would love that. I nearly <laughs> missed the whole thing. But did you just not expect to get picked? Or I didn't, what was the... I, I kind of like, yeah, like you said, I put myself down, but I'm like, there's so many yeah. good guys at my weight that give, like, I didn't think it'd actually be, I'd actually get picked for it. So when it did happen, it was unreal. It was a crazy <laughs> experience. That's mental because obviously this summer a lot of people like to compete but not multiple fights in multiple days. How do you think you're going to be able to handle that? How have you prepared for that so far anyway, still a month to go? I'd, I'd, I'd rather it that way. Like I've fought in the last couple of months, twi I think I fought twice in two months, planned on fighting three times, one of them fell through. I'd rather get more fights out in a small amount of time. It's more... <laughs> It's less weight I've got to get off, right? I've got yeah. to do two water cuts, but that would be a kilo. I've got to diet for less time, so it'd be brilliant. I can't wait. Why do you fight? I absolutely love it. I love every minute of being in there and every minute of fighting. I, like, as cliche as it is, I love to go to war. Every one of my fights is exciting and a, f a fight. It's not, like, anything less. Okay, so what can people expect with that in mind? They can expect us every, everything. I've like, I think, I can't think how many times I've been dropped or rocked in fights and come back to win them. I think, if, every, I think every fight bar one that I've been dropped in, I've ended up winning. It like, I just love to fight. It's not, it doesn't matter to me if it, if I lose the first round ten eight, I will still be fighting you in the second. And even if I lose that, I'm coming for you in the third. I will. <laughs> I am there to win for nine minutes and nothing less. Got a killer on our hands. Obviously, training here at Carlson Gracie, Ashford as well. Talk to us about your relationship with this gym. I'd love this gym. This is the only gym I've ever trained uh, MMA or grappling at. And this, like, I can't describe what the people here have done for me. Like, when it came to raising funds to go up to Wales, no one missed a beat in donating money to the GoFundMe or anything. Everyone's That's been, yeah. I think I raised a silly amount of money, a lot more than I thought I was going to get. I was pretty, going to be pretty happy with 100 quid, and I think we got much higher than that. What's your goals for this tournament then? I, I just want to win it. I really would love to win it. I think I've got more than enough skills. Uh, everything else I need is there. I, if I come 100%, I don't believe anyone can beat me. What's your motivation for wanting to be a fighter you've always been here but what is it that drives you to get down here and, and fight well, I, I, I love the sport i really i enjoy mixed martial arts i enjoy fighting i enjoy competing i enjoy helping helping people at the gym with the sport i love learning it watching it and every part of it that's interesting um how old were you when you started i started jiu-jitsu when i was about 14. Okay, it's about five so, years ago. So it made it made sense to come down here. <laughs> yeah, well, it was it was honest to my mum because I told her I wanted to start jujitsu, and I'd said another gym that was a bit closer, but she wanted something that was a bit more name brand. So we just I just okay. end up here. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your favourite fight at the moment? Oh, I've always loved Am Anthony Smith, Colby Covington, or Sean Strickland. Anthony Smith. Wow. Well, what's the thought behind that? I just love him. I just think I think he's a proper fighter's fighter. He really is like just a hard guy. He's not the most skilled guy in the world. He's not anything, but he's hard as fuck and comes to fight. <laughs> and who was the other two? Uh, Sean Strickland, Colby Covington. Sean Strickland, without saying anything, that's a lot of people's favourite. And yeah. Colby will will get on the wrong side of some people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. He's just so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. What does it mean to represent your country? That's amazing. This. It's absolutely a surreal feeling to do it for England rather than just myself or just the club. It f I can't really put it into words. It's amazing that I get to represent the whole nation. <laughs> Look forward to seeing it. 
Who do you have your eye on in the amateurs? You spoke to me a moment ago about being a fan of different amateur talent out there. The one I really want to fight, and it's not a bad blood thing, I've never met the guy, but just from watching him, Tommy Clark, I think his jiu-jitsu is amazing, and I think the stylistic matchup between me and him would just make for a great fight. I don't know, I don't know what's happened to him. He's not had a couple of fights in a while, was coming off a brilliant five-round fight with Joe Fields, and I think he got he lost his shock and all title to Gary um, Gary Rooney, but I mean they're the two, I think they're one and two in the country right now, so it's it's not really two losses to take too hard. Yeah. He got beat by two guys that are absolutely phenomenal themselves. But I do think that fight between me and him would just be amazing. We've both fought in shock and awe. I know they've got a show in October, so I don't know. But if, it, <laughs> if it got offered, I'd be jumping at the chance just because I think most as a fan to get in there with him would be amazing. Consider this a call out. <laughs> um, where do you expect to be in one year? Um, probably with 15 to 20 amateur bouts under my belt and looking at going pro, maybe taking another year in the amateurs, but like at the rate I'm cracking these fights out, it might just make sense. To... Okay. And in, in five years, is that too soon or can we have a little prediction? Where do you think you'll be? Five, I don't know. five years, maybe looking at breaking into the UFC or one of the bigger shows, but I think within that time I'll be on shows fighting like FCC, um, Cage Warriors, or one of the other big European shows. You're still quite young. What makes you want to go pro at this point? I've had that a lot of amateur bouts and I want as many as I can. Like, I think one guy who really did it right was George Staines. Have he, I think he's had mm. 17 amateur bouts now. And I do want as many as I can get for the experience. So to end this off, look down the camera, the barrel of the lens, and just let people know your full name your MMA record, your age, and your nation. Uh, I'm Tommy Mad Dog Mahoney. I'm four and three in, M in MMA. I'm 19 years old and fighting for England. I like it. Mad Dog, let's talk about that uh, that nickname as well. I like it a lot. I'm not sure if it's in any way inspired. Is it inspired by these? Uh, no, it's got it's quite not. a funny story. Okay, um, let's go. <laughs> so I, my, my debut was in Norwich. I took it on about three weeks notice, but I didn't really know what to bring to a fight. I'd never fought before. So we're driving up and we've got to Norwich. We're three hours away from home. Um, we get there, I've got my gloves, got my cup and all the, all the stuff I thought I needed. Um, my coach goes, did anyone bring a towel? That ne it never even crossed my mind. And he goes, oh, don't worry. I went like, no, sorry, Gav, I didn't even think about it. Well, I think we'll be all right. And he goes, don't worry, I've got one in the car. So he's gone down to his van um, and pulled out this, it must be one of his kids, big Disney towel with a big golden dog on, but it's all happy and funny. <laughs> so I'm getting the blood wiped off my face with that in between rounds. But at the end of the fight, there's um, a photo of me and my team that night with all of us and then Gav holding up this big golden, uh, must be golden retriever towel or something. <laughs> it's hilarious. That is quite funny actually. All right, we'll look forward to seeing Mad Dog in action over in Wales. Best of luck, Tommy. Thank you.